Cambodia is a really uh, complicated history area in uh, Indochina. We got long of the uh, fight between Khmer Rouge and the Vietnam uh, forces. In this time, it was like Vietnam War, the bombing start, and then uh, since 1979, uh, the Khmer Rouge collapsed. Both Vietnam government and the Khmer Rouge uh, are fighting about 10 years. So landmines lay over there a lot about 6 million landmines in the war end. But right now, they estimated around 2 million still need to looking for. There are many kind. UXO basically find anywhere. You can find them anywhere because no one know where they drop them. The landmine, most of the time you find anti-tank mine along the, the trail where the uh, soldier goes through during the war. So you can find a lot. But anti-personnel and mine, we found 69 model, they uh, booby trap, they uh, bound up and uh, with a trip wire. And another one is injury landmine. That's kind of like a plastic made and those are the two kind that we found the most. We've been doing the work with metal detector machine, um, even dog and other kind of big machine to find landmine and to destroy them. But it rely on the cost and the safety. The rat is the best option. This rat is the creature from Africa. We call them African giant pouch rat. We brought them from Tanzania. Uh, we breed them there and train them there. When we use metal detector, they can only pick up the metal. Many kind of metal in the ground and many fragments from the fight. So the bullet case, bullets, that they need to pick it up, all of them. So time and money was spent on this. For the rat, they don't do it like this. They skip all of those metal because they go straight to explosive smell. They can smell directly to uh, the spot and indicate that spot. So we don't have to spend time much but go straight to explosive. They are light enough to not set off landmine, so make them safe. For rat, they've been training them into indicated different way, based on what uh, they're looking for. But uh, for demining, naturally, it's their way of scratching. That's uh, naturally that they're curious. They want to know what it is in there. We will train them to know the smell first and then get them to react to it by scratching and then we give them reward. For rat, they go in there, they only indicate, but we need to know where it is to be able to go back after they indicate it. So the tape measure on the side, it's like coordinate uh, space. When the handler pulling them with the wire rope, that's the tape measure. Uh, to know the distance. If the rat scratch from where they stand, that they know the distance right away. They know that down when two uh, uh, lines connected at one spot, that's coordinate. They use that coordinate in there. Then the next team that go to take out the mine will know where it is by looking at the number. Our plan is do as much we can to get the resources and expanding. Uh, the most important for us is to save life. I'm really happy to be here for trying to get people to understand this job really important to saving Cambodian life. And not just Cambodian, around the world. Because this animal is uh, amazing. Yeah, they save a lot of life that we cannot do like them. But I'm really, really proud to be here to let other people know that we're doing this job. <laughs>